What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in light of all of the awesome tweaks coming out lately, I'm making a top 100 tweaks ever made. Now this is a compilation of every tweak that's been updated, renewed, you know, brand new tweaks, old tweaks. I'm putting them together into one video, so anyone that's a veteran to jailbreaking or new, this is the video that you guys gotta watch to see what you can do after jailbreaking. And now of course, I'm gonna be powering through these. I'm not gonna have much time to go through details, but you guys can get the full list of of tweaks, all of the sources needed to install them, and even more tweaks right here. Just click on that link and it'll take you to the article or click down below in the description on the link. And of course, you guys will need to be jailbroken. So in order to install any of these, you guys will need to be jailbroken. And the good news is you can still do that. So go ahead and click on one of those links right there to jailbreak on your OS of choice. And then you guys will be ready to install these. Now I'm partly making this video in a farewell to jailbreaking. iOS 8.1.3 is going to come out real soon and it's supposedly going to block the jailbreak. So I wanted to make a final farewell tweak video to iOS 8.1.2 because that's what I am running. So let's go ahead and get started. Now to begin, arguably one of the best tweaks to ever reach Cydia, here's Reach App. Do multiple things at once. So this is true split screen multitasking brought to iOS. I mean, for example, I'm browsing Reddit down here, text messaging up here. Convergence on the left, you have some toggles. On the right, you have quick shortcuts to applications that you set over here. And if you slide down, you have widgets for anything you guys need up there. Really cool, complete lock screen replacement for iOS 8. Next, here's a tweak that completely reinvigorates your music application. It actually matches the colors down here with actual thumbnails. So if I swap through, you guys can notice they do change accordingly and it looks really nice. It does a really good job of matching it. OXO 3 is actually one of the best Cydia tweaks ever made. It completely replaces your app switcher and control center with this interface right here. And if I slide up from the left, it gives me this really cool app switcher. And if you're inside an application and you slide up from the right, it closes. Now here's classic switcher it actually brings back that really cool look from ios 6 into ios 8 and it works very well and if you actually slide all the way to the right you can close all apps just like that greatly extend the life of your home button with virtual home just tap it once and it acts just like you pressed it if you want to open up the app switcher or hold it don't actually press it and it brings that up and reachability works just the same switchability gives reachability a new life by putting the app switcher up here now you can have several different layouts and add favorites right there just like facebook's chat heads these are called app heads you can move them around and it'll actually allow you to use an application within an application just like this if you actually swap them as you can see, the Photos app is running in the background and Cydia is right here, so it's really neat. Here's a mini player taken from the new iTunes. It's just a little tiny music interface that you can move around anywhere on your actual home screen. And then inside, if you just tap right here, you can get to the scrubber. Really useful, really tiny. A new tweak familiar to many. Here's a tournament, which brings the Apple Watch UI to iOS and does a really good job at it. Animations are very fluid and you can actually arrange it in a diamond pattern, a square, or a circle. Bring animations to the iOS 8 dock, as you guys can see right here with dock and roll. Now, besides that, you guys can actually add more applications down here, and there's so many animations to choose from, but it's a nice way to interact with your dock. Polis is a very nice tweak because it allows you to customize the toggles inside of your control center. Now, aside from the stock ones, you can actually add more toggles. You can add shortcuts to applications. There's a lot you can do with this. F.Lux has just been updated recently, and it's really stable. Now, what it does is it adjusts the color temperature of your display to match the ambience of your location. As you can see, the screen just dimmed. It's a nice orangey color and it makes for a pleasing display color. Confero brings all of the apps that have notifications on your device into one place just like this. So you don't have to search through them, especially if you have a lot of them. And if you just swipe up, they actually go away and they no longer bother you here. Bigify allows you to either shrink or enlarge icons. And as you can see, I did add a custom overlay from iOS 6 onto it. So it makes for a nice effect. Folder icons allows you to customize the folders. You can add a nice overlay effect onto it. You can choose the background right here, add an overlay on top of it, say this, and then you're done. So as you can see, it adds that effect to it. It looks really neat. Mobius is one of those little tweaks that are so cool. It just allows you to swipe infinitely through all of your pages without any borders. Apex 2 actually allows you to hide apps behind apps so you can just choose them in here what you want to put behind here and let me just choose a few and then when i'm done just slide down and there they are they just hide behind that one little app cobalia allows you to put toggles in place of your recent contacts up here so you can easily toggle anything while browsing your app switcher spring to my three is voted by some the most customizable tweak there is so as you can see i have changed my icons not only do they have an effect on them they're a little bit more transparent and my lock effect is different too you can modify and customize just about every aspect of your device with spring to my three and now for a batch of camera tweaks the first 
first one is called Camerix. Just double tap to activate mindset to the status bar. Tap one to take a picture, hold to record. Now this is useful for multitasking and taking pictures at the same time. And that's how you close it. Add a ton of functionality to your camera with Camera Tweak 3 from changing resolutions to adding a ton of custom filters, ton of custom features inside of camera. So this is called Camera Tweak 3 and it completely changes the camera experience. If you guys ever find yourself recording and suddenly need to turn on the flash but don't want to interrupt the video, well recording torch is very useful because it allows you to turn on that flash after you've already started to record. Take pictures quickly without even opening up the camera application just by double tapping it like this using Quick Shoot Pro. Take pictures or start recording video just by tapping on the screen like that using tap to snap. Take pictures or record videos in secret using stealth cam. As you can see it's recording. If I press the power button and then press the home button, it didn't actually close the application. It just hid that I was recording. If you're ever taking a selfie and the quality is bad, you just need more lighting. Well, Front Flash provides a flash solution for the front facing camera. You know, you just activate flash, click it, and it'll flash the screen just like it happens in Snapchat. Now here's Slow Mo Mod. Slow Mo Mod brings full functioning slow motion video to devices that currently don't support it, such as the 5C, iPhone 5, and 4S. A feature taken straight from Android here, Smart Tap. Just double tap on the screen and it locks, double tap, and it wakes the device. The animation I get when I put my device to sleep is a result of sleep effects, and there's many to choose from. Round Dock brings a nice touch of elegance to iOS 8 by rounding the corners on your dock. Circle icons, very much like Round dock makes the icons a little bit more elegant inside of settings by rounding them. As seen in the top right corner, Alkaline will change the theme of your battery icon. A once iPhone 6 Plus exclusive feature, ConvoPix brings the little icons from the contact picture into messages and it makes for a nice look. Also exclusive to iPads and the iPhone 6 Plus, SB Flip allows you to rotate your home screen on any device just like that. So let's bring some Android features over to iOS. First one is Jelly Lock. It brings actual lock screen from Android onto iOS. Alternate controls is also taken straight from Android. As you can see, it has several little features, one for an app switcher, one for a home button, and one to go back. Another Android feature is search widget. Now this is made possible with iWidgets, but it's a full Google search inside of your iOS home screen, just like Android. And you can do that like that or by voice. The page animations you saw are thanks to Cylinder. Cylinder is much better than Barrel because it's more diverse. There's way more transitions inside of it and I have it on random mode right now and it makes for really cool effect for iOS 8. Hide Me 8 is a city tweak that allows you to remove certain aspects of iOS that you dislike from the status bar to the home screen to settings. There's many configurations for it, but just an example, I did remove the battery icon from my status bar. AirBlue sharing is true Bluetooth sharing. Not only can you share individual files with its own file browser, you can share music. Any file that your device has, you can share it using AirBlue. Tether Me and MyY are two very useful tweaks which allow you to have tethering on your device without paying. In America, you do have to pay $20 dollars for carriers in order to use this, so it's extremely useful. 3G Unrestrictor 2 actually allows you to bypass Apple's rules for downloading over LTE, so you no longer are set back by a 100 megabyte download limit or any application that demands you be connected to Wi-Fi. It tricks your iPhone into thinking it's always connected to Wi-Fi even though you're on LTE. Supercharge your Snapchat application using Phantom. Upload photos from your camera roll to your story to people, videos to save them without having to sign into another application completely changes Snapchat. Pandora skips bypasses that five skip limit on Pandora so you can skip infinitely and no you still have to wait a few seconds in between but you can skip without any delay. Yes it's blurry on purpose I'm actually logged into my Facebook but Facebook Plus Plus actually supercharges your Facebook application. Download videos from your feed you have a messenger built into Facebook you no longer have to use a separate app and it completely changes your Facebook experience. Savegram allows you to save photos and videos inside of Instagram using this little toggle right here. Just save and you're done. True iRadio unlocks the true potential of your radio application inside of music. Skip infinite amount of times and scrub through the music just like this. So when enabled, dim actually allows you to dim your display even further than Apple usually would allow you to the point where it's usable in the nighttime, it doesn't blind you, really useful. Clex 2 being very similar to mini player adds a nice interface to the music application. Just slide from the edge of your display like this to play music in here and then slide from the other side to search through your songs. Here's Sphere View, very similar in nature to Eternum. It actually arranges all of your icons in this nice globe and the more you have, the better it looks. You can zoom 
zoom in, zoom out. And you also have this little dock for all of your notification apps right here. Familiar to just about everybody, Zeppelin allows you to change that little carrier logo right there. And there are so many to choose from, thanks to PAX, Cydia, and I actually really like the classic Apple logo right there, but there's a ton. So here's a scene that's very familiar. The T-Rex is coming, as you can see, thanks to the logo right there. Severe thunderstorm, so I'm describing Jurassic Park, but thanks to the theme I have in the background, this is weatherboard, and it allows you to set many different types of themes, or you can set it to the current location, have the weather outside displayed on your phone, on both the lock screen and the home screen. And just a shout out to Jurassic Park, I freaking love that little logo right there. There's also one for Jurassic World. Winterboard is one of the best tweaks ever made. With it, you can install multiple themes. There are hundreds, thousands inside of the City App Store, and this is just one. It's called Aura. Changes up all of the icons on iOS 8. Now, you guys may have noticed the font is different thanks to the one I have installed using Vita Font to change system fonts everywhere on iOS 8 as well. Color Your Board 8 allows you to change the color of your keyboard using this color palette right here or a picture if you wish to upload it right there. There you go, save, and there is the final result. Super cool. Set a sound for every single time you respring or reboot your device, this is what plays. There's a lot to choose from. There are many packs in City. Yeah, it's PSP, Pikachu, there's so many to choose from. Same concept, Anime iOS 8 allows you to choose a boot logo to boot up alongside that sound. Now this is very fitting, PSP logo with a PSP sound, and that's what it looks like. Flurry is a very beautiful tweak for iOS 8, as you can see. It actually gives your device this translucency effect, not only there in settings, everywhere. I mean, so you can see up here, it's affected in the control center, in the notification center. It's a very beautiful tweak for iOS 8. Very similar in nature to OXO 3, Vertex combines your control center and your app switcher just like this. And you can completely disable the control center. However, I choose to keep it enabled. An extremely useful tweak, guest mode gives your device another user profile. And this is for guests. You know, you can choose which applications appear here, which ones are limited. There's lots of options and it's really useful. A true face unlock for your device. This is called Appalanche and you just recognize my face. So unlock your device using just your face. As you can see this little icon right there. Also closely related to Appalanche is Apple Locker. Lock individual apps to your face. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my face and just recognize me and let me into this app. Locklift adds this very elegant animation to your lock screen when unlocking your device with Touch ID. Spin is a really cool interface for your lock screen whenever playing music. As you can see, the scrubber is in a circle fashion right now and looks super cool. Subtle Lock is one of the cleanest lock screen interfaces you can have. You can actually put the time up there. You can have separate widgets for weather. It's just really clean in general. CC Background allows you to put a background inside of your control center, and it's very intuitive, looks good. I mean, why not? Walmart allows you to cycle through wallpapers every single time you turn your device power off, respring, you know, restart your device every single time you have a fresh new wallpaper. And Telescreen X is considered to be one of the best complete lock screen replacements. You know, in your notifications menu, it's here too. It'll show you so much, many different news sources, you know, whatever you want, you can put up here. Classic Dock is just a nice throwback to the iOS 6 and previous days. It brings back that dock onto iOS 8. I Caught You Pro could save your device one day. What this tweak does is if there's an incorrect password attempt after two or so attempts, it does email you the current location and a picture of the person trying to log into your device. Extremely useful. It could save your device one day. So here's a really cool one. I'm just gonna set my device down and I have to make a loud noise like a clap and my device goes and responds its current location with this sound. So if you lose your device around you, this is extremely useful. Here's BioProtect. Protect individual applications with your Touch ID fingerprint, just like that. And same applies to actually exiting and going back into it just like this. It's bioprotected as you can see, and it won't let you in without the fingerprint. Now here's Fatigo, very similar to bioprotect. It protects your pictures from being deleted or shared within the photos application. It asks you for your touch ID to make any adjustments. Uninstall never is just as the name suggests. It prevents applications from being uninstalled by nosy people. So it could potentially save some applications from losing data. Better delete gives you more information about individual applications whenever wanting to delete it. So as you can see right there, it'll tell me a number of things before I delete it, such as how much room it takes up. Now, side delete is extremely important if you do install a lot of Cydia tweaks. As you guys know, to uninstall any application from Cydia, you have to go in, and this one is from Cydia. However, I can delete it just like that, and it removes all preferences from Cydia. Wi-Fi booster can be important if you're in an area with very little Wi-Fi reception. It'll actually open up your device and show all networks, not just the good ones. So here's Call Enhancer. It's a brand new tweak. Just swipe right here, and if you click this guy, it'll go ahead and 
and input a automatic blocked number area code right there. So for example, for North America, it's star six, seven, and there's a whole bunch of settings for it. Extremely useful for enhancing your calls. Here's my reachability. Add extra functionality to your reachability enabled device. So if I actually use accelerometer, it will move over the screen that way and vice versa. For anybody installing any sort of Cydia tweaks or applications, I would absolutely recommend iCleaner Pro. It takes up all that extra memory that's left behind by applications and cleans it all up. So never run out of system memory. Both speed intensifier and no slow animations achieve the same effect. Speed up your device by actually reducing the amount of time it takes to open up applications. For example, this is sped up all the way. It just opens and closes super fast. Here's battery saver, and it has the potential to save a lot of battery life, such as when you lock your device, it disables all radios except for 2G to search for notifications, and that greatly increases the battery life. Here's Predix. Predix will tell you the amount of battery life you have remaining with an activator gesture. It's a little hard to see, but I have about three hours and 45 minutes, as it says right there, and you can adjust all the colors. Home Screen Designer allows you to change the layout of iOS. You can customize it any way you want, even put them a little bit behind other applications as I did right there, and you know, just generally enhance or change the look of the layout on iOS 8. Here's Schleipnizer for iOS 8. It supercharges Safari. Just by holding a link, it opens it up in a new tab, slide down, refresh. There's too many features to list. Here's Ignition. Ignition is a fully ported CarPlay port for iOS. I wouldn't recommend this on a device smaller than a 6 Plus. It works good on the 6 Plus and the iPads. Pretty much mount your device in your car and use CarPlay on a non-CarPlay supported device. Really cool. These are the full applications and you have access to all of them and here as well as maps. Everything works. Now here's Dye. Change the custom colors of iOS 8 using this. You gotta respring each time, but the results can be pretty cool. Greatly increase the functionality of your spotlight search using smart search. Now you have a whole bunch of different sources. You can use Reddit, Google. I mean, you can search many different areas using all of these different search functions. Night mode eight is a full system wide night mode. It's all dark and it's very well if you're using your device in the dark. Now this is not just settings. This is every single application and it's a lot better than Eclipse too. And now for some potentially life-saving tweaks, here's PM really, it'll ask you, did you really want to set this alarm for PM? It could save you your job. Now here's oops lock. If you lock your device constantly only to say, oh man, I really need to go back in and do something. Well, if you press the home screen immediately after locking it, it'll boot you right back in, bypass any sort of passcode you had and you know get you right back to where you were. So it saves some time in the long run. Another potentially life-saving tweak is called send delay. It gives you a little bit of time in between when you click send and when you can press stop to stop a message from being sent in case autocorrect messed it up or it's just not what you wanted to send. Another really useful one is called message service switch. Just hold the send button, your device will vibrate and it'll change the type of message you're sending from iMessage to SMS and vice versa. Very similar to app heads, here's message heads. So just activate it using an activator gesture and it'll bring up the conversation maker, just select someone and then it leaves their message head right here, which you can move around or drag to the bottom to close. I'm sure all of you guys know this one is called swipe selection. It's been around for a very long time, but it's just a better way to manage text, you know, copy, select text using iOS 8. Untethered Hey Siri allows you to use the Hey Siri activation method without the need to be charging. Hey Siri. And as you can see, it does activate. Here's Easy Spring 2, very similar to Repower. Just hold the power button and you get a whole bunch of toggles so you can easily respring, reboot, shut down, enter safe mode. There's a whole bunch in here. Bounce Notify 8 has a great potential to get really annoying, but it could help you see notifications by bouncing the icon that currently has one. And for number 100, here's Kill Background 8. So it just installs this little skull icon down here, which you click once and it'll completely clear your app switcher. And there you go. That's the top 100 tweaks of all time I have compiled for you guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found a bunch of new tweaks you haven't heard about before. And if you haven't, please subscribe already. I'm always posting new videos, new tweaks. So make sure to be subscribed to enjoy all of that content. Guys, this video was not easy to make. I really would appreciate a thumbs up. You know, it would mean a lot to me. Anyways, enjoy the tweaks, guys. Have a great day. Peace.